Through tears, these grandparents facing a steep rent hike are pleading for help. Dozens of senior couples live in the Terrace View homes on Hoskins Mill Lane in West Charlotte, and they told reporter Mark Barber they soon won't be able to stay in their homes. Mark took their concerns and started to investigate. I struggle paying my bills as is. Through tears, Barry Frazier tells me he's 67. Instead of enjoying retirement, he's searching for a job. But I ain't got no choice. I got to find some additional income. He says the new rent increases at the Terrace View community will eat up 60% of his Social Security check. When residents came here to check their mail, they were shocked when they got their new bills. Check this out. This is a copy of one of them. You can see where rent is jumping from $500 to $625. That's a 25% increase. It's heartless. We have to have money for clothes. We have to have money for food. I took the concerns of neighbors like this 82-year-old grandmother to the property manager. Mark Walters of MW Properties tells me the owner is Canadian and plans to start updating the units. It's a strong concern, but what do you do? I mean, I can't make the owner not, you know, raise the rent so to cover the mortgage. In. The city helped build these duplexes, so the owner had to keep the rents low for 10 years. Now that agreement is over. Walter says he convinced the owner to keep rents as low as possible for as long as he could. Trying to get them not to raise them all at one time or bring them up is a hard thing to do, but at least we got them to do that much. Neighbors are grateful for the help, but they say they need even more or they could lose their homes. Without some help, we can't survive. And we have absolutely nowhere else to go. In West Charlotte, Mark Barber. Channel 9 Eyewitness News. A real struggle for them. Frazier tells us that they looked for other apartments, but the waiting lists all had year-long waits. We also reached out to Charlotte Housing to see if they can help. They told us there's nothing they can do because rental subsidies are limited to people who have been homeless or have severe mental health needs.